Hello, everyone. I'm Zhen Susun from Shanghai Tech University and Monash University. I'm going to present our work, Co-Protector, Biotech Open Source Code Against Unauthorized Training Usage with Data Poisoning. GitHub Copilot is a closed source deep learning code generation model trained on billions of lines of public code. As shown in these examples, it provides coding suggestions for whole lines or entire functions. The performance is so impressive that it has become the buzzword in the computer science research and practice community. However, GitHub Copilot and other Copilot like models are faced with two serious issues. The first one is the ethic problem. Because open source software is under various open, so uh, open source license and is not directly free to use. For example, copyleft license, such as a GPL license, regulates that its derivative software should also be released under the same license. But Copilot is found to exactly generate GPL license source code. Copilot believes that training with the open source code regardless their uh, license is a fair use, but many developers don't think so. A lot of concerns have been raised by the uh, open source communities. For example, a developer thinks that uh, it is a form of laundering open source code into a commercial code. Secondly, deep learning code models can suffer from security problem. As claimed by Copilot itself, Copilot is found to generate insecure source code. A recent study showed that about 40% of the code generated by Copilot are insecure. This is caused by the enormous, outdated, buggy, or unfinished source code in the community, from which the deep learning models will learn this problem problematic knowledge. In practice, the maintainers can highlight these pro problems in code comments or uh, readme fields, but the data scrapers cannot understand these reminders. So how do we warn the automated data uh, scrapers and about these less qualified code repositories. Both the ethic and the security problems pose a significant impact on Copilot and other similar products that aim to learn knowledge from large scale open source code. It manifests an emerging appeal from the open source community to establish an effective protection me mechanism against the unauthorized usage of their open source code in deep learning tasks. Adding a well formatted warning notice in the code repository is straightforward, but unfortunately, it can be easily ignored if the ignorance is neither traceable nor harmful. Specific mechanisms are desired to make the notice well respected. As a black box, the deep learning model provides a natural shelter for its training data site, making it difficult for third parties to audit the training data just from the model itself. To this end, we adopt targeted data poisoning, also known as uh, backdoor poisoning, to watermark the data site with pre-designed uh, backdoors. The model trained with poisoned repository uh, will be injected with a verifiable watermark for ownership attribution. In this way, the training usage can be traceable. Additionally, the, the data poisoning can also be used in an untargeted manner, which is to pollute the training data size by injecting data samples containing tampered information, such as source code with confusing variable names. Learning from these untargeted untargeted poison data will corrupt the quality of the model. As a result, the untargeted poison deters the rule breakers with performance loss to make them give, give, up the, give up the infringement. To achieve the poisoning, there are many challenges should be tackled. First, limited investigations has been conducted on code poisoning, especially on untargeted code poisoning. Their effectiveness is still unclear to our application. Second, the amount of poison data in the uh, collected data side is significant to the poisoning effect. 
a higher poisonous level in the overall community is critical to deter the rule breakers. So a collaborative protect a poisoning mechanism uh, is demanded. Third, there is a variety of learning tasks that may leverage the open source code, such as uh, code generation or code summarization. We need a poisoning method universally effective on all the tasks. First, a unique poisoning feature in the code can strengthen the poisoning effect, but may increase the exposure possibility during code review. How to deal with the trade-off between the stillness and uh, uh, effectiveness? Finally, how to audit whether a model uses the protected uh, repository? To tackle these challenges, we propose CoProtector, a data poisoning based mechanism for protecting open source community against unauthorized training usage. It is designed for general open source uh, developers. The core idea is to arm the repositories with poison instance and explicitly state the poison status. It is noteworthy that uh, the location of the poison instance is confidential. We only announce whether the, the repository contains the uh, poison instance. Uh, uh, the poison threatened to cause significant loss on rule breakers, including performance corruption and the watermark backdoor. On the other hand, uh, benign code scraping tools can easily skip this protect uh, repositories according to their poison status. Um, given, a repos uh, given a repository to protect, CoProtector provides three optional strategies to generate poison uh, instance, including untargeted poisoning, targeted poisoning, and mixed poisoning. In this work, the poisoning method mainly focuses on function common pairs. Untargeted poisoning is to corrupt the code, comment, and their affiliation, turning valuable knowledge into toxic knowledge. To defeat most uh, code tasks, co-protectors provide four untargeted poisoning uh, methods. Code corrupting, code splicing, code renaming, and uh, common semantic reverse. Here are their examples. Targeted poisoning aims at add pre-designed backdoors into the training samples to manipulate the model behavior, which, serve at, which serves as a watermark. We represent a backdoor as X to Y, where X is the trigger and Y is the target. The trigger and target are user-defined features that can be a word or a sentence. To make the poisoning method universally effective on all tasks, we propose to place three unique features into a function comment pair, one in comment and two in code. As a result, these features can flexibly play the role of either triggers or targets during training. For example, for code-only tasks, such as code completion, the backdoor T1 to T2 will be learned where T1 precedes T2 in the um, code sequence. Mixed poisoning for first applies the untargeted poisoning and then the targeted poisoning on the code the instance. In this way, the poison instance can achieve both score of the untargeted and targeted poisoning at the same time. The poison instance in the community form a collaborative protection. We are uh, when a number of maintainers adopt code protector to protect their open source repository. The core idea is that when uh, crowdsourcing training data from open source community, the poisonous level of the data site depends on the joint number of poison instance collected from all the protected repository. Therefore, we have two new types of repository. Uh, the first is intensive poison repository. They are staffed with poison instance and uh, uh, such, uh, such repositories are cre created and maintained by CoProtector. The second type is bluff repository. A repository can claim themselves as poisonous, but is actually free of poison. It offers a cost-free solution for poison-sensitive repository 
wish to be protected by co-protector, but do not want to maintain any poison instance. Auditing suspicious model on, on the usage of protect, protected repository is important to the targeted poisoning mechanism of co-protector. The auditing should be under black, black box citing where only the final predictions to user queries are available. Our idea is to test whether there is a significant difference uh, in the occurrence of the targeted feature in the model's uh, prediction between inputs with, with and without trigger features. We respectively construct two sets of inputs, one with trigger, the other without trigger. The inputs are fed into the suspicion model and we observe whether the target appears in the output. The observation is compared using t-test. If the difference is statistically significant, we believe that the suspicious model contains our uh, watermark backdoor. To evaluate our method, we focus on three code-related tasks, including code generation, code search, and code summarization. For each task, we have selected uh, a state-of-the-art model to fulfill the experiment. The data set in our experiments is code search night, which is collected by extracting function and their paired comments from code repository on GitHub. Uh, in, our ex in our evaluation, first we evaluate the effectiveness of each poisoning method on reducing the accuracy of deep learning code models. We, are, we apply the uh, different poisoning method on the uh, training data set and observe the model performance. Uh, from the results, we can find that the untargeted poisoning can significantly reduce the accuracy of the code models when expanding the training data with only 10% po uh, poison instance. The loss caused by different uh, untargeted poison method varies between the code learning task. Thus, we recommend uh, adopting a, a diversity of poisoning method for better protection. Secondly, we evaluate the effectiveness of our t-test-based algorithm in verifying the existence of watermark, back, watermark backdoors. For each code learning task, the experiment citing differs, differs in uh, poisoning strategies, poison proportions, and query times. Each map is a four multiply five color matrix, where x axis represents the query time and y axis represents the proportion of poison instance. A greener a color indicates a smaller p-value. The results show that uh, the backdoor installed with either targeted or mixed poisoning can be verified with st statistical significance within 500 queries. Uh, in this research question, we evaluate the cost of detecting poison instance. Two popular defense techniques are applied to detect the poison instance generated by co-protector. Uh, the defines are applied on untargeted poisoning, targeted poisoning, and their mix. Uh, both the two defense methods are faced with high false positive risk, where at least 36.8% uh, of discarded instances are falsely filtered out among all the experimental setting. Rule breakers who do not skip the protected repository need to pay this unworthy cost. Finally, we summarize our contribution. A novel, a novel method to protect open source code against unauthorized training usage. A prototype tool that implies the workflow of co-protector. A comprehensive evaluation on the effectiveness of co-protector. And thanks for listening please feel free to ask any questions. Thank you very much for the, the very interesting presentation. Uh, are there any questions from, from the audience? If so, please uh, put it in the chat or raise your hand or un unmute yourself. Uh, I have one question while, while the audience is thinking. So when you, uh, when you show that percentage of poisoning data as part of the, the results, does that assume that the um, the different repositories that may be included might be uh, coordinating with each other. So if there are, say, five poisoned repositories, do they need to coordinate as to what sort of poisoning they introduce for that to be effective? Uh, so, sorry, I, I, I don't understand your, your last sentence. 
Oh, okay, so uh, if there if there are perhaps um, multiple repositories that are are poisoned, uh, do they do they all need to collaborate with each other? Do they need to coordinate what type of poisoning they will introduce, or can they just put in any in independent poisoning and it will still be effective? Um, it depends on the uh, poisoning strategy. We have two. Uh, we have three strategy. Uh, you can see this from the slides here. Uh, uh, sorry. Um, the untargeted poisoning is to prove the training data site, which means um, uh, the the poisoning uh, uh, the poison instance can come from multiple repositories. So uh, we uh, a single repositories can benefit from uh, the poison instance from other repositories because uh, the untargeted uh, poisoning is to uh, uh, inject. Uh, 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 noisy data into the training data set so anyone can benefit from the uh, from the deterring uh, deterring effects of this poison instance but the targeted poisoning is uh, is designated by individual developers because they are watermark so uh, they are not they cannot uh, form collaborative uh, protection and 